everybody here's crystal with crystal's diversity creations i um, just wanted to bring you along as i make a pair of socks um i have a sock jig i can put the link where i purchased this made this on a glow forge but you can also use a piece of cardboard so the measurements for this piece of cardboard is um just over four and a quarter and it is by 13 and a quarter so you can just easily cut that out. Um, I'm using and one socks. They're 100. They're 100 polyester. Um, like I said, I'm going to use the cardboard just because it's easier for everybody to follow along with cardboard. And you want to put it on. When you put it on the cardboard, you want to make sure because these socks go like this, not just the sublimation ones that are just straight. So you want to make sure that if you're doing a two-sided design or not, it should be. Put on like it would go on your foot so you want it to kind of be facing forward so that you're not sublimating on the side of the um, sock i'm using the um pro world heat press 1620 um transpro 1620 and um so i'm going to switch out the plate you want to make sure that your sock is actually um i try not to do the band under the press because it'll flatten the band out and it'll make it kind of just you lose the stretchability um you want to make sure that the lines are straight so that when you put your image down it's it remains straight you know and not go like wavy on the leg you know um so and then you want to make sure that this piece here is straight across just like with any sublimation so just want to get a clean piece so that I can um, clean off these socks. So we just want to um, lint roll them because anything that's sublimated, the ink gases will leave the blue marks. So again, just check your lines, make sure everything is as straight as you can get it. And then make sure that you're dealing with both fronts at the same time. So in here, <clears throat> make sure that they're both towards the front. So um, I'm just doing some quick Eagle socks. So this is the design here. So I just wanna make sure that A, it's facing down. So the Eagles belongs at the bottom like that. Okay. And then I wanna kinda make it more towards the lower part because I want to hang that upper part off. And so also you want to make sure that you've got about equal stretch. And what I mean is that when you line your socks up side by side, so see, I need to pull this one up a little bit because the other one doesn't come down that far. So side by side, now the bands and everything is equal. So we're just going to go ahead and Put that right there put a tape it down like so and then we'll put the this is a two-sided sock so we'll put the other image on the opposite side so that it's ready and i like to work with everything side by side so i know where that um image is going to fall at So this one says it's a Philly thing. It's a Philly thing. So I want it right about there. So we're just gonna tape this one down. If you were doing all over sublimation, same process. Um, the only thing that's really different, different is that it's gonna go all the way down to the bottom of the sock and wrap. So when you tape the all over, you just want to make sure that it kind of goes around the sides so that your, your image um, is continuous. And so again, match, match them up so that the designs are hitting at roughly the same spot. Okay. And then I'm going to use um, paper that I get from, um, what's it called? U-Haul. 
So these are um, packing sheets and you get like 200 of these for um, like 10 or $12. Okay. And oh, before I do that, I did want to switch. I want to put a, um, a different plate on because I want to be able to hang this over. Trans -pro, the Trans Pro heat press, what's nice about it is the pal the platens are interchangeable. So you can put different sizes on that work better for you for whatever your project happens to be. So in this case, this is the 11 by 14 and that's what I'm going to use uh, for these socks. And I'm using this because I want to be able to hang the sock off the, the end of it. Where the other one means I got to be all the way down here. This allows me to do it right here. So, start with this side. Right here like this. So again, I don't want to get the full press of the heat. Um, I want that off. So like it's going to kind of make it bend a little bit. And that's what I want it to do. Um, now we want to cover it because we want to protect our um, heat press cover. So just making sure I want the paper all the way up. But I want the sock to stop. Okay. There we go. I'm going to cover it and I'm pressing at 400. I'm pressing at 400 for 60 seconds. So it's already at temp. And we're just gonna press. This is gonna be 60 seconds. So um, that was 60 seconds. We're now gonna take it, flip them. So we got them flipped. This paper, as you can see, this side already has ghosting on it, so I'm going to use the top part. That's why I tore it. I need to now take that off the side. Right, get that off. And we're ready to do this side. Another 60 seconds. So as we're um, finishing up. So, of course, they're very hot. Um, you can see that it definitely went all the way through because also it's on the paper on both. So, now we just pull off the image, pull off the image nice and vibrant. And so this way, your stock still has the elasticity, but you get the nice image. And when it comes back on your um, calf, you know, it looks like a nice pair of socks. If not, um, this is how it looks when you press it and you don't, um, you press the, the, it flattens it out. And so I don't like that look. So I gave it a try this way so that we can maintain that nice sock look. And so here's just the other one. And like I said, you can do that right with a piece of cardboard. We have the measurements earlier in the video. So just, you know, go to that for the measurements. But there you have it. So nice, quick sublimation socks. Again, these are um, and one, and they came right from Walmart. It's like a six pack, I believe. Hope you found this video helpful. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks as always for watching Crystal's Diversity Creation. Till next time, take care.